All right, you guys, it's me, your boy, Scott, and we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess, and we're here to talk about the Grammy, so let's get right on into it. Now, I was on the Neighborhood Talk, shout out to Kyle, and um, apparently there has been a little bit of controversy with um, the name changes for the urban categories, and I'm going to read this article to you from the Neighborhood Talk, and um, I'm going to give you my opinion on it, so here we go with the article. The Grammys has announced some major changes to some of its categories, especially to the urban Contemporary Album, which is now being renamed Best Progressive R&B Album. The definition of Best Progressive R&B Album describes records with the most progressive elements of R&B, which may include samples and elements of hip-hop, rap, dance, and electronic music, as well as production elements found in pop, Europop, country, rock, folk, and alternative. Now, Best Rap Song Performance has been renamed to Best Melodic Rap Performance referring to a solo and collaborative performances containing a strong and clear presence of melody combined with rap cadence. So this is what I have to say about that. The Grammys would do anything. They would do anything to whitewash the Grammys. They would do anything to keep black people from winning these awards. This is my thing. This is why I don't really care about the Grammys. This is why I could care less about what's going on with the Grammys. This is why I don't watch the Grammys. This is why I'd rather watch the BET Awards and I'd rather celebrate the awards that um, are created and are absolutely for us other than these Grammys. Like the BET Awards, the Soul Train Award, like awards like the NAACP. I'd rather us celebrate those more instead of um, sweeping them under the rug just because they're not considered to be mainstream awards. Yes, the Grammy Awards are um, probably the most prestigious award that a music artist can get. That is that is true. But at the end of the day, I just feel like it's um, beyond BS how we always have to change what it is for us to keep to keep us people of color from winning these wars. I feel like, what do you mean by progressive R&B? What, what does that actually mean? You know what I mean? Like, it should have stayed exactly what it was. And why are you changing it? Why are you changing rap song collaboration? Why are you changing it? You could have just left it the way it was. It's kind of like the way they took away the gender-based categories, like best female um, R&B vocal performance or best male vocal performance. You know, all of that. I felt like that made it even worse for artists to win awards. And it became more biased as the times went by. And I just feel like at this point in time, why are we even celebrating these awards? I don't know why we put so much stock into Grammy Awards. I see it all the time in Stan Wars and everything like that. You know, and I've found myself doing them in a, doing that in the past, like going up and up for a Grammy Award. But the older I get, the less I could care less about the Grammys. I do not watch the Grammys. I could care less about the Grammys. It's just like the Oscars. I don't care about the Oscars like that. I don't watch them. I feel like they're not for me or the people that represent me. I just feel like they're not. So, I don't know. I just feel like it's just another ploy for other um, races to get into our um, music and win our awards. Awards that's made for us to win. That's how I feel about it. I, and I just feel like it's a disservice to us as black creators, black artists, and all of that stuff. I just feel like it's a big ass, you know, disservice to us. Because what's going to happen is a bunch of these white artists that probably makes music like, you know, make R&B music or make rap music and shit like that, they're going to all be piled up into these categories and we're not going to see any wins from that. That's just what I think about it. But, however, Team Scotty, what do you guys think about that? How do you feel about them changing it? How do you feel about um the whole progressive R&B? It it's kind of like the whole neo-soul thing. Like, I felt like that was stupid as hell, too. Why can't it just be soul music? Why got to be neo-soul? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. But what do you guys think about this? Um, Be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to um, follow me on Instagram at Scotty underscore by underscore nature and be sure to support my best friend's brand, Respect My Roots. Be sure to do that. Um, I will leave her Instagram page at the bottom of the video so be sure to um, support her and her movement and uh, be sure to tune in tonight to Drinks, Teas, Keys and Conversation with me, Jamar giving you the real tea and the Scorpion Show and guess what? Somebody else is probably going to do a surprise pop-up and even they don't know about it. So, get into those teas. With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Till next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.